Hey guys, welcome back to another follow up video of Evolution X from for Rhythmy Note 8. This time we are using version 10.3 based on Android 15. And I have been using this ROM about a week now actually. And this one is the latest version for this device. So as you can see here, Android version 15, Evolution X version 10.3. The security patch level is from February 5, 2025. And other things are pretty much similar to the old one. So the UI is still pretty much same. There is nothing new here. And, and as you can see, notification panel and everything. For customization, Evolver section is there. And there are few things. So new things here actually is that now bar now bar was available on the last build too actually but this time i'm reviewing it and i did try that so as you can see here now bar is available you can swipe here to check your playing media and when you are charging the device it will show you how much power it is taking so these things are available and now bar is working perfectly fine no issue with that so you can turn on now bar now if you go to lock screen section there should be now bar option so you can turn it on if you want that and if you don't want that you can disable it few other features like miscellaneous section component spoofing and there is google photos unlimited storage you have to turn it on by default is off and few other options nothing new actually and in terms of network wi-fi bo lt and bo wi-fi everything is working perfectly fine no issue with that sound and vibration working perfectly fine no issue display setting adaptive brightness is working double tap to work double tap to sleep working perfectly fine no issue with that so as you can see here so these things are available and working perfectly fine in the wallpaper and style section as you can see here more wallpaper we do have both ai wallpaper and emoji wallpaper they work more log screen option so there are a few other things available here battery the battery backup is pretty good but still we are not getting any kind of fast charging here we do have charging control and other options but no fast charging in the security and privacy setting we do have both face and fingerprint unlock both of them work perfectly fine no issue with that so they are working face unlock will be a little bit slower side but works and the private space is also available so these are the things actually there is nothing new here in terms of application we are not getting a lot actually the MIUI camera is available and it is working perfectly fine no issue with that you can record you can take 48 megapixel picture so all these things are available and gcam is also working i did install a gcam here which is also working so the cameras are working perfectly fine no issue other features like in terms of call recording so i did try making phone call bo lt and bo wi-fi working as you can see here hdmr and call recording is also working if i play call recording going to record the caller and I will be able to so call recording is working no issue whatsapp is also working no issue with that and we do have google play protect certification so you can use bank application here and you're not going to get any kind of compatibility issue with application so device is certified and other things like in the photos section we do have unlimited storage for google photos but unfortunately still the magic editor is not working so if i show you that try now and crashed so unfortunately it's still not working and other features Circle to search is still available and it works perfectly fine. No issue with that as you can see here. Slow website but working. So these things are available. And in terms of gaming. So the gaming performance is not really that bad. Obviously it's not really better than the Sierra Droid ROM I have used. But pretty much playable. If you do gaming on your device. This ROM is still pretty much okay. And other things like the animation and everything are pretty decent. It's not really the fastest one actually, but everything working perfectly fine, no issue actually. So pretty smooth. Not really like see a droid ROM. That one is pretty smooth actually. And this one is actually pretty okay and pretty well optimized ROM. So you can go with this ROM too. The only issues I have found are fast charging not working and the magic editor is crashing. So these are the issues here. Besides that actually there is no issue at all, obviously a little bit slower side, you might find few minor bugs here and there, but 
PT usable ROM and daily drivable ROM. So that's all about it. I will put the ROM link in the description below if you want to try this ROM. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.